I am a trout. Good. We got an intro. <laughs> Very good. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, we are at the Mandara show, which is just uh, about 45 minutes south of Perth. And we're here from Friday through to Sunday. Tons of caravans here, boats, the usual story. Um, but the main event for us is this truck and actually our new bar behind us. Yeah, so we're setting up a full bar with four tabs, so beer and cider on tab. In order to run the bar, run the cooling, run the air conditioning, it's gonna be a, a, a domestic style air conditioning in the back of the truck. Uh, we need some power. Mm. What are we installing? Five 240 amp hours, which gives us 1200 amp hours of power. Yes. They're lithium as well, so we can use you know, 80, 90% of that power. Yes. And to help the batteries stay charged, we are also installing 850 watt solar panels on the roof. Yep. So that's going to provide 1200 watts of power. We're using two MPPT chargers, they're 40 amps each. So they should roughly give out you know, 30 amps each. So 60 amps of continuous charging, that's plenty. Yeah, yeah. So the, the aircon we expect to run somewhere around 600 watts, yep. uh, which is around 50 amps. Uh, so we can theoretically run the aircon and the fridges and everything just off the solar. And then when the sun goes down, we've got the batteries to cover that. Yeah. So we'll walk you through now everything that we're installing and then we'll get to work and get it installed for you right here at the show. <laughs> no pressure, mate. So here's what we're installing today. We've got one, two, three, four, five of the 240X Pro iTech wall batteries. Like we said, 1200 watts, 1200 amps of power. With that, we've got to charge it. So we've got the BC40 charger to charge it off mains. So when we park the truck up at home or whatever, we can charge it from the main power. In order to charge it from solar, we've got two of the MPPT 40 amp chargers or MPPT controllers. Uh, so those will be able to charge it off the sun whilst we are driving around. We need to monitor the battery and the charging status. So we've got a brand new 500 amp, the BM500 uh, Smart Chant battery monitor. So it's got a big screen, big display, it tells you exactly what the current percentage of the battery is. It tells you the discharge rate, um, everything you need to know, it tells you the voltage. So this will help us control and know exactly what's happening with this power bank. Then to actually get the power out of it, we are installing the 12 volt control hub from iTech World as well. So that one gives you all of the power connections, uh, it's got switches pre-wired with fuses, but it also comes with a DC-DC 40 amp charger that's already attached to it. So all you need to do is use this wiring kit, plug this straight into your car's battery and alternator, and you can then charge the batteries through that. So this is what everything is going to run through. And then to give us power for the actual bar and for the aircon, we've got a 3000 watt inverter. Um, with that, we've got tons of cabling and wiring, fuses, circuit breakers, uh, carpeting, a lot of things. So it's time to now get to work and start putting all of this together and everything is gonna go right into that cabinet over there. So that's just gonna be a dedicated uh, power cabinet for the truck. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first thing that we're doing is we're going to mount the solar controllers. So we've got number one and number two and the BC charger. And we're gonna mount this onto this board somewhere roughly here. This is going to be as the back wall above the batteries. And then the batteries will fit vertically, horizontally, vertically underneath this. So we'll show you in a second how that's going to look like. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna mount all these chargers. We're mounting all these chargers in the same spot because they generate quite a bit of heat. So we're actually going to have fan so we've got a couple of these circle fans and filters and we're going to have fans pushing air across it so we actually remove the heat from there. Um, so we're going to just mark this up, drill a couple of holes, bolt them in and then we're going to put that in the box where the batteries go and then we'll start putting the batteries underneath. So we just drill a couple of holes, put a couple of bolts through so you can see from the other side we just neatly bolted them in and make sure that they don't leave the lab when we're on corrugations. And then, yeah, we just have the two MPPT controllers. So we have eight solar panels. We're going to run them in two separate solar arrays. So we're going to have four panels and four panels, each feeding into these. And then these will charge the batteries. And then we have the BC40 uh, charger that charges from uh, your mains. So this is going to go onto the back wall of the compartment. 
and then the batteries are going to be sitting underneath all five of them. So we're just going to go put it in a truck now. We'll show you what it looks like after and then we'll put the batteries in together. So now we've mounted the panel back uh, where the batteries are going to live. So it's time to put some of the batteries in there. So we've got five of these absolute beasts. 240 amp hour. These are the iTech 240X Pro. Plenty of power for all we need. Now we just need to take them all and put them in the box. I'm going to sit them this way. They're going to live right there. Ah, we put the batteries in, as you saw. We need to secure them in. So we're going to put a piece of wood here at the bottom that's going to hold them in. And we've got this bar. And we drilled a couple of holes. And we're going to feed the bar through and see if that's going to hold the batteries. There we go. And that's going to feed on top of the batteries in that sort of recess. And it's going to feed in the back there. And then you just hammer it in with a drill. That's it. Now the batteries can't move. All right, now that's the batteries in place. Whew, that was a bit of work. Now we're going to start building the actual black dash back by <laughs> All right, there's the batteries to the place. It was a bit of work, but it's in there. Now we're going to build the actual electrical box with all the wiring, the circuit breakers, um, the uh, power hub, um, and the uh, inverter. So we're going to assemble that on the side. Then we're going to build a cabinet for it, plug it right next to this one, bolt it on into the canopy, and then we'll just put a panel on top. All the wires will be hitting in the back. All the pretty things will be in the front. And then we're just going to carpet it around it, and Bob's your uncle. One of you guys have an uncle called Bob. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day two of the Mandara show and we are back here doing some more work on the electrical system on the truck. So today we're installing the solar system. So we've got a 1.2 kilowatt uh, system going on top of the roof. We've already mounted six up there. We've got another two to go, but we just thought we'd show you basically how easy it is to mount these things. So the panel's got four brackets. Uh, you'll see three are already on and literally it is as simple as bolt washer squishy thing and put the nut on and tighten it up i'll do that later but that's it put those four brackets on and your panel's ready to mount on the roof and it also comes with these tech screws which you basically just force into the roof and keeps the panels on. So we've done six, we'll put on the other two at the front and then we've got to do all the wiring. So speaking of ultimate setup, it doesn't get any better than this. Have a look at that. So this is what's going to live next to the batteries that you just guys saw us putting in. I'll walk you through it from the top to the bottom, right? So this is going to be the positive bus bar. So you've got power from the batteries coming in. It's going to come through the main switch. This one's rated to 500 continuous amps and 2000 amps peak. The power is going to run from that into the main fuse. This is a 450 amp fuse. And then from the fuse to the main bus bar. From the bus bar, we're going to feed everything. So from the bus bar, you've got power going through another 450 fuse into the inverter, 3000 watt inverter. You've got power running from there through the 250 amp fuse into the hub, which is going to power basically everything we have in a truck. And then it's going to feed all of these uh, circuit breakers. These are for the two solar chargers, so MPPT1 and MPPT2. This is the BC charger, which is the one getting power from uh, your standard household socket. And this is going to be powering our audio in a bar. So we're fitting 2000 watts of sound in a bar. So that's going to be power from that. This one's going to power all our lights. And this is a spare one that we already prepared here, just in case we need for anything else. Um, all of that goes through all the devices, comes back into the negative bus bar. And through the negative bus bar, it goes through the smart chunt which in turn puts all the data into the battery monitor. So this is the brand new BM500 battery monitor from iTech World. Uh, it will give you all the stats on how your batteries are doing, what your current charge uh, input is from charging, what your usage is. So this is how you're going to monitor everything. Now it's time to put it all together. We'll use a couple of bolts here and here and there, get it all mounted onto the board, um, and then we'll show you how we put that into the truck. Let's do it. Power board is now done. We've just bolted everything onto the board as we showed you before, and we just connected all the wire connections. So 
Everything now runs through the positive bus bar, through all the fuses and circuit breakers, through all the appliances and, and devices, down to the negative bus bar and through the shunt. We can monitor everything. So what's left now is we're going to actually put this in place, bolt it in, all the wires are tightly and neatly hidden behind this. We're going to connect that to the batteries. We're going to connect these to the chargers. And that should be it. Then we'll just switch it on and hopefully it won't explode. Look at her. Beautiful. <laughs> Even incapable idiots like us, they can't put a screw in a can still build system like this. That's how easy the high tech port system is to put together. Okay, so before we connect the chargers, let's just see if this actually gets power from the batteries. If our master switch works, if our fuses work, uh, and if our uh, BM500 battery monitor works. So let's just give it a try. We'll switch on the master switch. <laughs> we got power. Look at that. We switch over our monitor, switch on our monitor. And we also get the display out, read out on there. We just need to give it a quick setup to make sure it understands how much power we have. And that we have a 12 volt system. But um, it didn't go bang. It didn't go bang. So this is uh, unusual on our channel. But with a system like this, yeah, you just need to be careful. But it's super easy to install. Follow the instruction manuals on their website. All you need to do is use the correct thickness cables connect plus to plus, then minus to minus, red to red, black to black, and you're good. This is working, we'll switch it off. Always switch it off before you work on the other connections. We're gonna hook up the chargers, and then we're gonna give you a full walkthrough of everything that's happening here that we've done. So, for example, now we're wiring in the BC40. So this is the AC 40 um, m charger that charges from your mains in the house. This is how difficult it is to wire it in, right? I've got positive running from the positive terminal on the battery, and I've got negative running from the negative. You unscrew these two screws, you connect the positive, guess where? The positive terminal. And you connect the negative to, yes, you guessed it, the negative terminal. Like the cables nice and neat and that's it our bc charger is wired in all you need to do is plug it into your socket that's how easy all of these things are to connect okay so everything is done everything is running and working which is really weird because usually when we do things it doesn't end up that well on the first try but everything's working so let me walk you through what we actually end up doing five iTech wall 240X Pro batteries, 240 amps each, 1200 amps total. Power from that gets fed through the main switch. That's a 500 amp switch with continuous rating and 2000 amps uh, peak. From the switch, we go down into the 450 amp fuse, and that's the main fuse for the whole system. And from the fuse, we feed the bus bar. From the bus bar, we then get power through another 450 amp fuse into the 3000 watt inverter. We have a power from the, through the 250 amp fuse into the iTech World hub. And then we have circuit breakers for the two solid charger controllers. One for the BC40, which is a charger for your, from your mains. And then we have three Anderson plugs that are on the back of this that go through the truck. One is for our audio setup in the bar one is for the lights across the bar and the whole truck and one is spare that we can plug anything into and then everything feeds into the negative bus bar and the negative bus bar then runs through the smart shunt back into the battery bank and that shunt allows us to then have the bm500 battery monitor to monitor everything that we have so right now as you can see we are at 100 percent charge we have 1200 amps of total power available uh, we are still charging because we're testing the uh, AC, the BC40 charger. 
Uh, we are currently charging from mains, so we are running 36.5 amps in. And everything is working as expected. We are already charging our phones from this. And then just going up here above the batteries, this is where the solar comes from the roof. So we have 850 watt solar panels. We have them in two arrays. So four of them run through one MPPT controller, uh, another four run through the second MPPT controller, and they then charge through the system the batteries. They're currently set up in a way that they don't continuously charge. They only start charging when your batteries drop below a certain level. So instead of constantly having the batteries go to 99%, 100%, 99%, 100%, when it drops below a certain voltage, then the solo kicks in and charges your batteries back up. So you can go down to maybe you know 80% charge and then charge it. That's just to manage battery life, extended battery life. Correct, so that manages your battery life so they don't constantly keep charging and they last a lot longer. So this is the system. It's all up and running. Look, it took us about two and a half days for two of us, but this is the first time we've done something like this. Complete DIY. But it just shows how easy all of this is to set up. All right, that was, uh, that was good. That was Not, good. That was a little bit longer than we expected. It feels good though that like everything worked on the first try and it looks epic. Yeah, that's, I think that's the thing, right? We took our time and it's the first time we've done it. So it took us longer than, than it probably would most other people, but it, the end product is phenomenal. Yeah. It looks yeah. so good. And look, I couldn't be happier. All the devices, they work absolutely a treat. Huge thanks and shout out to iTech World for helping yep. us with this build. Yeah, so up next, we didn't quite get to the bar, so we're gonna go camping next weekend. We're gonna basically panel out the back of the truck. We're gonna put in the bar. We're gonna put in a, a bar top and we're gonna mount the EcoX uh, speakers onto the back there. So that's kind of next week and we'll get the kegs filled up this week. So we're gonna have about what do we say we're gonna have about 220 80, beers 220 beers 80 liters of uh, something alcoholic um, so that's the next <laughs> step and, and aircon we've and got aircon. a domestic uh, 2.6 kilowatt system uh, aircon is going to be built inside built in side of the canopy and um, so that's going to run up the inverter and then you've got a toilet and a shower going inside i've heard a rumor yes toilet and a shower <laughs> shower and a toilet toilet in a shower so do you, do you still consider yourself to be a camper or are you now a mobile home person? I'm camping, but I'm, I'm getting old, so I camp in comfort. <laughs> All right, well, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about the build or you've got any questions about the iTech World products, give us a shout. We'll do our best to answer. If not, we'll uh, send you to the iTech World guys who can definitely help you out. But um, yeah, something different. And if we can do it, and I know, and especially me, <laughs> well, it's mostly him, but if we can do this, then uh, with a bit of time and perseverance in the right. We can't even put a screw in the right hole properly. So yeah, <laughs> honestly, if we can do it, your dog can do it. Yeah. And then like Darren said, uh, if you like any of these products, give iTech World guys a shout. But also Black Friday is coming up. Yeah. And I think they're planning to have up to 80% discount. Yeah. So this video will be out before Black Friday. So if you're in the Perth area, or if you're out, check their website. But on Black Friday, you can get a lot of these at a really good deal. Yeah, well, these guys are doing, I think they're doing nationwide delivery now. Yes. Anyway, so if you're over east and you want to get a hold of some of this gear, you can get it shipped yeah. over as well. All right. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like it, let us know why. And if you spot any mistakes in our um, electrical things that you think might blow us up whilst we're out in the desert, then please let us know. It should be all right. We licked everything, so. Yeah, usually licking things helps. It, it tasted like 1200 amps. So. How many times did you electrocute yourself? Not once. That's, not, not. That's I'm impressive. still here. That's pretty impressive. That is impressive. All right, guys. There were a couple of sparks here and there. But <laughs> there were a few sparks. I will look at that now. We did melt with one wire a bit, but, yeah. but nah, all good. All right. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Thank you. See ya. Cheers.